Hey guys, VBAD here with another V-Place taking out the F4U1 Corsair. This aircraft is going to be a tier six. It's the introduction to the American Cannon multi-role line, uh, otherwise known as the Corsair line, culminating in the F7U. Now, one of the real attractions to this line is going to be the fact that you get 20 millimeter cannons. They're a lot easier to use. Uh, they're much more consistent in the way that they operate, and it's a bit of a fan favorite favorite uh we are in a tier six match okay cool let's go ahead and do a little f2 on the mine and head over to this command center oh wait that's the wrong one ah do that there we go Whew. so we get eight five inch rockets or we can get two 500 pound bombs i prefer the bombs but i'm preparing for specialization if i specialize this thing we're stuck with the rockets so for a little bit annoying it's not my favorite setup i prefer to have bombs if any of you follow my channel long enough you know that's more my style all right let's rudder up ignore this guy and go after this one cool There we go. Select rocket launches. Let's go ahead and do a reload on that and head for the mid. Our team is doing fairly well trying to capture the center. This guy in a bit of a dogfight with Lieutenant Connor here. Let's give him a hand. Got some good hits in. There's the Spitfire. And we picked it up. Hey there, buddy. Cannons. There we go. Let's use some of the speed that's available to this aircraft, and we really need to get that mine. That is integral that we go pick that up. We got 58 seconds till we got our air to grounds back. Now do that, hopefully somebody gives him a bit of a hard time. What I'm more concerned about though is that there's a multi-roll down here attacking my ground attacker. Ooh. There's just those two structures left. They just picked him up. Jeez, that stinks. This Yak-7 is pretty involved with shooting this ground attacker. And we're able to punish that. We're getting a little bit of altitude here, and we're going to roll over onto this ground attacker. Slamming on the brakes. We have one rocket left. Let's use it. Okay, let's do something a little bit cheeky here. We're going to get below his, his tail gunner, so we're not taking that flak anymore. Let's do a nice quick turn. He is back into the circle. There we go. We got a little bit more towards the capture of this zone. We really need our team to come over here and give us a hand. This is an important spot. The least we can do is give our bombers a little bit more survivability over here. There we go. There we go. No AA left at this facility. Let's go ahead and throw an F4 on him. Come on, Garrett. Let's get over there.
Them having that military facility gives them the equivalent of two zones. There we go. The bomber should finish off this site. Now let's throw an F4 on that guy. I'm going to dip that nose, try and get some of that good Corsair speed we like to see. The XP-44 is the tier 5 off the machine gun line. He is up there, man. That is that is not the way we like to fly those. That is a little bit too high for that aircraft. How is he doing? Yeah, he's struggling to get a lot of points right now. He's barely breaking a thousand. Hit that F4 button a lot. Managed to pick up the Lambert. Enemy bombers inbound. Don't let them reach their target. Be advised, the enemy is concentrating forces near the airfield. Oof. We got a whole bunch of bombers and ground attackers. I'm hoping that that plays out for us. We just picked up grade three because we did indeed pick up that military or the mining plan rather. And it looks like we pretty much have this handled. Let's throw an F4 on this guy. Got him. Not as worried about Charles. I am worried about that spit, though. We're not running, we're strategically evading. So it is Squall Line, and it'll be suicide to go into him against all of his allies. This is a bit of a bold move, too, here. Yeah, half up we were able to pull that off. This is actually the first aircraft I ever got a Rocketeer in. And those cannons showing how powerful they can be against a machine gun version of the same class of aircraft. Now the XP-44 does get two 500 pound bombs as well. And in the subsequent tiers, that line ends up getting a lot more oomph in the form of air to ground rockets along with bombs. Oh, they had a human bomber as well. He's not going to live much longer. We'll steal the kill from the bots. Sounds good. Right at the very end. 13605. Got McCampbell as well as a Lambert. Uh, be interested to see what the ground damage was. I don't usually like shooting at ground targets with my guns, but I feel like AA is a worthwhile endeavor. It does take a lot of the flak off of your allies, and if you've ever been in a bomber or even a ground attacker and taken a lot of AA damage, you appreciate when they're taken out. In fact, I've learned even as a ground attacker to prioritize taking out at least a low altitude AA if I'm the only aircraft in the zone and usually putting a lot of effort to take out the high altitude AA if I know I have bombers coming into the zone as well. Uh, we were able to kill three ground targets, but we were also able to do 6,850 damage to ground targets. Uh, we were able to rack up 560 capture points. Uh, some of this was from attacking as well as defending. We picked up a Rocketeer for being able to get into a head-on. We only killed 11 air targets, but the combination of air targets and ground targets and the flipping of zones has allowed us to be able to bring in a very respectable 13,000 personal points as well as a couple of medals. And if we were looking to get some tokens, which I've already achieved today, this is a good way of getting at least one, two, you would have gotten three tokens from this event. I believe you still get one for Conqueror, but yeah. 
Uh, Corsair line. I love the Corsair line. It was an early love for me. My father said they were really difficult to fly because they weren't as maneuverable as other aircraft. I took that as a bit of a challenge, and this is the first line I really put my effort into years ago. And I have not looked back. I've really enjoyed the rest of what this line, the ha this line had to offer. I even like the F7U, even though it's a little bit of a departure from where the Corsairs fly. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at this iconic aircraft in battle. And as always, I'll check you on the next one.